I'd like to uh, take this model, when it's proven successful, uh, to be replicated around the state because this is a statewide uh, national epidemic we're dealing with. A pilot program in the city of Buffalo aims to stop addiction before it starts. State Senator Chris Jacobs secured state money to start this program. News 4's Jen Schantz tells us how it works. Jen? This is modeled off a middle school leadership program that's been around for years now. It's expanding now to reach older students. The goal is to teach teens and young adults how to avoid risky behaviors like drug use through peer mentorship. The pilot program doesn't officially start until July of next year, although student ambassadors are already being selected. The program will run for a year and includes training sessions where students talk about pressures they face and how to best make smart decisions. With the help of $50,000 in state money, Independent Health and Western New York United Against Drug and Alcohol Abuse will be able to hire a coordinator to lead this program. But organizers say students will really be shaping the process as it's the first of its kind for this age group in Buffalo. The best place to get information is from kids themselves. So they'll be able to guide us and help us with some structure. Education to help them understand the essence of addiction and, and how the brain works can help them in terms of, you know, prevention in terms of opioids and, and heroin, which is the biggest epidemic we've ever dealt with, but also give them, as the saying was, resiliency in dealing with other things that can get them down a path uh, that can undermine their potential. Senator Jacobs is a co-chair on the Senate's Opioid Addiction Task Force. Now, in addition to that $50,000 from the state, organizers say they'll need to secure more money to keep this program going. This is also quite data-driven, so they'll be tracking how effective the program is in keeping students not only informed, but off drugs. Jen Schantz, News 4.